Welcome to Crypto OGs. What's going on, Crypto OGs? Today, I have a very special guest. And let me tell you what. I've been fanatic about technology, and one of the movies that I like the most is Back to the Future. And there was something iconic that probably was talking about the future already, and it was the DeLorean. And today, probably you don't know, guys, but we there is, there is an arm of the DeLorean that is building blockchain technology and Web3 solutions. And for that, we have Mr. Evan Kuhn, he is the president of DeLorean Labs. How are you, Evan, today? I'm doing great. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, every thank time you. I hear, uh, you know, <laughs> an intro like that, you know, I'm just so grateful that, you know, I feel I have the best job in the world, you know, getting to represent you have an, amazing, an iconic brand. You have an amazing job. You're making, like, everybody childhood uh, reality right now. And that's why we're going to talk about that. But before talking about DeLorean Labs... Um, you are very successful entrepreneur already. You know you were the um, you you co-founded the Coinberry in 2017. Then you were doing one billion. Well, the company transaction volume with more than 225,000 users, and then you sold it. And then you you start to do a lot of stuff. But then now you are ending up being the president of the Lorian Labs. But let's talk a little bit about your experience. You know, with technology, with crypto, blockchain, because people need to understand that you are not just starting right now this this journey. You're already a crypto OG. Yeah, yeah, definitely been in the you know been following Bitcoin, especially for a long, long time. Um, you know, and you know, back in the days where you know you'd be at a party talking to someone about it, and they'll oh, it's never going to work. It's you know, like who cares? It's going to be nothing in a few years. Um, you know, and, and then really kind of being that person in the room saying, no, no, pay attention to this. That, you know, there's something here. And, and that led me to uh, starting Coinberry or co-founding it. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was uh, in Toronto, Canada at the time. Um, you know, I, you know, since I'd been interested in Bitcoin and crypto for quite a while, you know, I just didn't know how to acquire it. You know, and that was kind of the big problem. There was no safe, secure platform mm -hmm. out there really at the time. So, you know, started uh, Coinberry, you know, and our, our goal was to become the first, you know, regulated, registered platform in Canada. And, and we started working with the OSC, our regulators there. There was, you know, three to four year journey with them. And, you know, we finally got that stamp of approval. And, you know, in that time, we'd grown the platform, as you said, to over a billion transacted volume, 250,000 you know, Canadian users. I think we mm -hmm. listed around 30 tokens, coins. And, you know, it was quite the journey in, into this space and, uh, yeah, a lot of ups and downs. But, you know, we were lucky enough to have uh, an exit from uh, Wonderfy. Okay. Just uh, when the registration came in, they're backed by Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank. Um, so, uh, yeah, got to, to work with a great team there. They've been doing a roll up of the Canadian registered platform space. Um, yeah, have a bunch of the Canadian brands. And now we're I believe, we have one of the largest platforms in Canada with around 1.8 million users, you know, competing with Kraken and Coinbase. <laughs> You're doing amazing, and and Evan, that's a the very inspiring story uh, from your beginnings in, in in crypto and blockchain. But now let's talk about the Lorian. Everybody's is been waiting for. Uh, we have hit the team actually the team behind scene that actually asking me. Let's talk about the Lorian. Okay. What inspired you to merge the iconic legacy of DeLorean with cutting-edge blockchain technology? And how do you use this fusion shaping the future of the brand? Yeah, so what we're doing at DeLorean is, is you know, really building the blueprint for how Web2 brands get to successfully enter Web3. You know, we're, we're just still very new in this technology. And, uh, you know, it, it's this, you know, this is what I love to do is kind of, you know, dream of, all the different ways that the technology can integrate with what we're building on the motor vehicle side and, and also you know how we're building you know the community on the web3 side and you know I, I think what's you know cool to note and i talk about from time to time is how delorean existed in web3 before as a company we even decided to enter the space you know there's a ton of memes you know with the car you know with you know back to the future memes and, and, you know, we see it, uh, you know, in the crypto communities already. Yes, it's, it's amazing because, yeah, you, that was back back to the future one and two. And then we have the the, the iconic means um, 
with the doctor and everybody. But now let's talk about how you're building community, right? So DeLorean Labs has a unique approach to community building. Could you share more about how you plan to engage and incentivize DeLorean enthusiasts through Web3? Yeah, so uh, we've started with a, a digital collectible called a time capsule. And mm -hmm. uh, you know what's really cool is we uh, shot a commercial you know, for this uh, a few weeks ago with Christopher Lloyd from the the Back okay. to the Future movies. Uh, you can you know check that out on YouTube or across our social media platforms. I believe it's also at DeLoreanLabs.com. You know it's been right. you know received really well so far, over 10 million views across wow. all the platforms. And uh, you know, if you look, you know, closely in the commercial, you'll see Easter eggs that relate okay. to other communities, you know, in the Web three space. So you know, the obvious one, you know, there's a, a Shiba Inu uh, <laughs> as Doc's, uh, you know, dog, and uh, you know, as we feel like DeLorean is kind of that iconic Web two brand, you know, we feel Shib is that you know iconic Web three brand, you know, and, you know, and through these kind of you know, cross promotions with the, uh, you know, existing Web3 communities. Um, yeah, we're, we're helping build ours. Amazing. And also, guys, um, talking about other partnership that you have uh, or enthusiasts that you have together, one is Shiba, you know, and also the enthusiast about DeLorean. Let's talk about uh, layer one. Why did you choose to build DeLorean Labs on the Swiss network? And how does Swiss layer one blockchain enable your vision? Yeah, so uh, you know, Sui has been such an amazing team to work with in, in, in blockchain. What I love about what they're doing is, you know, they have this vision of you know bringing Web two over to Web three and having that be seamless. So you know, if you look at what Sui has with their stashed wallet, you know, allows users to sign up with a Gmail account or a Twitch account. They make it incredibly seamless, easy process. And uh, so even if you aren't versed in Web3 or, you know, kind of understand how to set up wallets, they just simplify the process and, uh, you know, it's kind of that vision of allowing Web2 to integrate with Web3 in a way that they might not even realize they're integrating and in, in working with Web3. Amazing. And something that's very outstanding as well is like you are, uh, DeLorean Labs is heavily invested in tokenized ecosystem. Could you share some details about the types of digital and physical collectibles available right now and how this foster community engagement? Yeah, so, uh, you know, as I mentioned, the time capsule that yeah, yeah. we're working on. So, you know, elaborate a bit more. So uh, <laughs> 8,800 of those that uh, we're coming out with, uh, we've launched around 3,800 now in two okay. separate win mint windows. We've got another mint window coming up November 1st. So uh, market calendars, be ready for that one. And, uh, you know, these time capsules at some point in time, you know, they, they will <laughs> open and, uh, you know, re reveal some, uh, you know, physical items. Uh, you know, yeah. the main one being a new DeLorean EV vehicle. Oh, wow. Very, very excited about that one. We also have a partnership with Nike for some DMC dunks. Um, you know, also experiences in this, you know, such as F1 passes, uh, you know, work with Karate Combat as well. Karate Combat, yeah. Yep. So, so definitely uh, stay tuned. And, and I kind of look at this time capsule, you know, is that membership into our community and, and this, uh, you know, collectible that, uh, you know, we, we've, it's just the tip of the iceberg, um, you know, for what we have uh, coming down the pipeline. You mentioned that the Lorian. EV, right? Yes. When is that coming? Are you sending it to Dubai? We need to test it. <laughs> um, so, you know, as uh, you know, with all kind of new car releases, you know, it, it takes time to build. You know, so we're making sure we do this properly. So, you know, I'd expect it in the next few years. Uh, we've got uh, a good team working on it, and uh, you know, a, a lot of really cool technological integrations. You know, that we're going to be doing. <laughs> But something that probably is going to ha happen uh, when you start to to talk about the release of the DeLorean EV is collectibles. Let's talk about cars, right? Collectibles, uh, different brands. You know, let's let's say Ferrari. You have to own a Ferrari or 
have certain Ferraris to get the other Ferrari, right? right? To get the better Ferrari. And then other companies have to take this approach, you know, but guy, you have the most iconic car in history of the planet. It's the DeLorean, right? Everybody wanted a DeLorean. Even, even my auntie, my grandma, everybody saw that car and at some point say, I want a DeLorean. Now with the DeLorean EV, you have a very good idea that obviously you are you are pioneering this. You are pioneering a blockchain-based marketplace for vehicle reservation, which is quite unique. How do you think this approach will change the traditional reservation and ownership experience, which is the most important? Yeah, so you know we're, we're essentially bringing value to your place in line. So you know, with traditional uh, vehicle reservations, you know, if you decide at some point, you know, in that three to four year time span where you reserve your vehicle and you wait for it to be produced that you may not want it anymore you yeah. lost your job you can't afford it things change you get that so you know we allow people to trade their place in line you know and, and essentially resell that uh reservation space mm -hmm. and uh you know creating a, a market you know for that reservation space on our uh new uh, DeLorean marketplace, which is expected uh, later this year. And, you know, okay. I mean, that's just, you know, one of, you know, many advantages, as you can imagine, to, you know, having that reservation on chain. Okay, let's dig a little bit more into this, because uh, obviously you are using blockchain for vehicle analytics and tracking as well, which is quite unique. Blockchain analytics and tracking. What advantage does this provide for owners compared to traditional methods? Yeah, so you know, I, I don't know if you're familiar with Carfax, or in you know, North America, we have something like that. Um, okay. Not always accurate, not always reliable. <laughs> yeah, you know, now we're creating that source of truth, you know, for the vehicle. You know, so how many miles have been driven on it? You know, if it's been in an accident. You know, essentially all the data that the sensors are picking up, you know, will exist on chain, and you know. Uh -huh lead to all sorts of things. You know, we, we think about, you know, if you're a safe driver, being able to get reduced car insurance rates. Yeah, yeah. If you break if you break good way. Yeah, you have a good, yeah. Also being able to know the value of your vehicle mm -hmm. in the resale market in mm -hmm. real time. You know, e even if uh, you know like what we've seen with OpenSea, like even if you're not looking to sell um, your NFT yeah, you can still see the offers um, that are being given on it. That's amazing. And I'm, I'm talking more about, let's go back a little bit because, okay, we talk about blockchain vehicles, tracking everything, but DeLorean is known for its collaboration with iconic brands, you know, through the years. Well, the, probably the most iconic was the movie, right? And you, you also talk about Nike and more. But are there any upcoming partnerships that you can tell us about what will combine DeLorean's nostalgia with modern trends? I mean, we've got a few in the works, not, nothing uh, we can share. Uh, okay, okay. Right now, but, you know, what the things we're working on go way beyond, you know, just vehicle and, and okay. uh, you know, collaborations. You know, you know, we're looking at apparel and goods because, you know, the car has such an iconic design language, you know, that brushed steel, you know, the boxy look. And you know, the nostalgia to it, and, and I really see that this is something that can be applied to all sorts of things. And you know, as a fan of design myself, um, you know, like it, it's just we have some really cool things that we're working on. That I can't wait to share. And you can't wait to share with the with the DeLorean enthusiast. Let's call it that. But now let's talk about something important because I'm one of them. I've been following the DeLorean for many years since like I was four years old. But now, how does DeLorean Labs plan to reward brand loyalty through blockchain technology? Could you share some examples of some, for example, exclusive offers, access, or experience to your most engaged users? What can they expect? So, I, I mean, starting with the time capsule, you know, that yeah. we mentioned, you know, that kind of being the, the membership to our community. Yeah. And uh, you know, being able to to get your place in, in the DeLorean Web three ecosystem, and then uh, you know, I definitely want to say stay tuned for the next uh, couple of weeks because you know we have some big announcements coming out, and uh, you know we'll definitely 
have you know the answer I want to give you to that question. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, we have some you know really cool things in the works. Uh, and, yeah. and something that is quite unique, also obviously, there is um, most of the people that watch uh, Back to the Future and fall in love with the DeLorean. Where we always were trying to to shape a new future, you know, thinking about flying cars and. Now we're living that right now. Like I'm watching you right now on a screen that was also in Back to the Future, you know. Um, but also that with with innovation come challenges, right? So what challenges do you face in bringing blockchain into automotive space, especially with a legacy brand like the DeLorean? Yeah, so I mean, the automotive space, it's a very traditional I say old fashioned, you know, industry, you know, it moves very slowly, mm -hmm. you know, so, you know, it, it's going to take time for, you know, this technology to be embraced, you know, being in uh, crypto for as long as I have been, you know, I, I, I've seen it, you know, it's kind of first the, you know, dealing with the banks you know, <laughs> and how reluctant, you know, they've been to embrace it and, you know, it, it's like with any uh, legacy industry, you know, fearful of change and, you know, it takes time, you know, for that integration and, you know, vice versa, um, you know, DeLorean uh, as a Web2 brand coming into to Web3 as well, you know, that there's, yeah. uh, you know, it takes time to, to win over the Web3 community and, and kind of, you know, show that we are the real deal, you know, we're here to stay and, uh, you know, we really do believe in the, this technology and what it will do to the automotive industry, DeLorean, and how it can change the world as a whole. Amazing. And something that's very outstanding, for example, you just mentioned when you were starting on blockchain and crypto, you know, dealing with the banks, and probably the most of the brands right now in crypto, they have a very challenging part, you know, trying to build a brand in an industry that's very volatile and is, uh, people don't trust, you know. Uh, but now you probably have something unique that you need to balance, right? Like, how do you balance preserving DeLorean's iconic image with the innovative and sometimes volatile nature of Web3? I mean, yeah, I think it's especially with DeLorean, it, it's learning how to say no to opportunities. <laughs> um, you know, that, that's what's been amazing of, you know, being with DeLorean is the access and the amount of opportunities and, and people, you know, every day being like, oh, I want you to partner with us. I want you to do this with us. You know, let's release this together. And, yeah, um, you know, so it was a ton of opportunities and exciting things to do. And, you know, it's being able to shut out a lot of the noise and, and stay focused on, you know, where we see that we can build, you know, long-term value, you know, keep the integrity of the brand, of the design language, and uh, you know, not dilute what we have because you know it's about protecting that magic and yeah. uh, it's a special sauce, so to say that you know exists. Amazing, and something that also is very fascinating about uh, the Lorraine Labs is they have a, they have you right. So you, what lessons have you brought over? Uh, to your work with DeLorean Labs? How do you apply all your experience in financial services to the world of digital assets and automate, automate, automated tech? Yeah, I mean, I, mean I, I think it's, you know, first and foremost, you know, as we know, uh, the markets are very cyclical in, yeah. uh, in crypto. And, you know, you have a few years where you're the hottest thing around and then a few years where no one wants to touch you. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so I, I think having that understanding of the, the cycle that all these companies go through and, uh, you know, it was previously, uh, you know, DeLorean's not used to that, uh, those ups and downs, you know, the roller coaster, you know, that we're, we're used to in this industry. So, you know, being able to ride those waves and, uh, you know, plan for the future and, uh, you know, make sure that, you know, we can you know, withstand those cycles and, uh, you know, be here for the long run. That's outstanding. And now something that you as a founder of uh, companies and now you're leading the run labs, looking forward, 
what your long-term vision for DeLorean Labs in the digital asset space? How do you envision the DeLorean Labs and the SUI network influencing the automate industry and beyond together? Yeah, uh, we want to be the the car of crypto and digital assets. You know, we, we want to see DeLoreans outside, you know, all the conferences and, <laughs> you know, it, 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 you know, the car of, you know, what we're doing of blockchain. And, uh, you know, so we've kind of, uh, you know, seen a few hashtags out there already where, you know, people are starting to say when DeLorean and, uh, <laughs> no more when Lambo, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess um, Dewey being kind of the, the great partner to, you know, like it's, you know, as you know, DeLorean is uh, an auto company and, uh, Yeah, so partnering with Sui, you know, get some of the best developers in the space, and yeah. uh, you know, it, it's a deep partnership, and we, you know, we're able to use a lot of their resources, and we're so grateful for that. And you know, they're such an amazing team to work with. Thank you, Ivan. And I have two more questions. Uh, number one, where can I get that DeLorean hat? And, uh, yeah, at various uh, events. You know, where we have, uh, you know, uh, soon we'll we'll hopefully have. Uh, something for the fans. order but you know for now you can find us at events you know we're looking at uh, attending shibacon okay you know, being a, a big sponsor of that later in the year um, amazing so, you know, if you uh, find us there you know i'm sure we'll have some hats and, and shirts available i'm sure you it's not only me but you have a lot of people coming to shiva shiva con just to get the delorean hat yeah. oh, looks like everyone there. And how we can connect with you, like, obviously, we're going to drop all the links here, but you're very approachable. You are building a brand that is, is opening so many things to many enthusiasts into the future, into technology, into automate. But how we can connect with you if somebody wants to connect with you, not only in events, uh, what is the best way to connect with you on Twitter, Telegram, and with the community? Yep. So with the DeLorean Labs, um, you know, DeLorean Labs on x.com. And uh, you know, also on Instagram, uh, we have our YouTube channel as well. And then uh, you know, myself, uh, I'm Evan Kuhn at uh, x.com. And uh, yeah, happy to chat with anyone. Uh, yeah, loves what we do, and you know, is as big of a fan as I am of the brand. I'm looking forward for our next box podcast to wear Evan in the DeLorean. L listen to this. I want to do the po the next podcast with you. It has to be in the Delo in the new DeLorean EV running by Sui Network and running obviously by by DeLorean Labs. Evan has been an amazing experience having you in the show. I hope not only the crypto OGs but also all the DeLorean fans have enjoyed this episode and you know if you want to come and meet up the the team of DeLorean uh You need to come to 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 Chiefcon. It's going to be very soon, and I can't wait to see you there. And I can't wait to see the DeLorean. And I can't wait to see everybody that's coming uh, as a cryptologist together. Thank you, Evan, and I'll see you in the next DeLorean. Yeah, Take thank care. you very much for having me. Really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Bye bye. Bye.